Hi everybody. Hello there. Last week we promised you a tour at Brownwood and we got rained on. We did. So we got gas. We're over the gas now. <laughs> yes. See what I did there? Uh, <laughs> and so we thought we'd take you on that tour of Brownwood. We're going to cruise the square, show you some of the stores that are available for you there. But this last little bit of the drive we thought we would show you as well. Uh, we are at the roundabout between Eisenhower and uh, Brownwood. So enjoy this little ride. And when we get there, we'll show you the stores and uh, facilities that are available in Brownwood. Right, Gizzy? Look, look right there. You're supposed to look at the camera. Uh, it's no idea. Here we go. This is the pond on the right side. I think you can see it down there where Larry the alligator used to live. They captured him because he was so huge and they rehomed him, I believe, at Gatorland in uh, Orlando. That's the story anyway. I don't know all the story behind it, but here you're going to be able to see one of the new complexes of apartments that uh, are being built down here. They're nice. Uh, they've sprung up and uh, I can imagine that they're going to have a nice view of this lake and uh, it's gonna be nice. And the land down here. Yeah. I'm not sure how much they rent for or who can rent them and what amenities will be available to those that do, but uh, I thought I would show you a picture of that. We'll get back on the road here. In fact, I'll turn down. We're going to be going away from Brownwood for just a second, but I'll show you some more of those apartments. And you can see some people think the villages is growing too quickly and too huge. These are called the lofts at Brownwood. And uh, that's a totally different building than the one uh, that I just showed you up ahead there. Still under construction, not open yet. And uh, it's going to be quite a big development. So we're heading back toward the square. From our home, it's about, I don't know, 12 minute cart ride to get down here. Very easy. This is West Torch Lake Drive that I'm approaching. And we will uh, show you the businesses available to you right down here. All right, we're heading on Torch Lake. The Village's Grown is a place where uh, they sell organic foods grown right here in the villages. There's the newspaper office, the Daily Sun, that's where we uh, pay for our newspaper subscription. Golf Central is a great golf store right downtown here. Clubs, uh, gl gloves, balls, tees, markers, Brownwood Jewelers, a jewelry boutique. City Fire, the famous City Fire restaurant right here, American Oven and Bar, a good place to hang out. Now we're approaching the actual square itself. You can see the cabin where the performers uh, do their thing. Love that windmill and uh, the little water tower. We'll go all the way around, show you the entire view of the square. This is where bands perform 365 nights a year from 5 to 9 p.m., weather permitting. And they are great bands, by the way. This is one of the uh, unique town squares. It has covered seating, bleacher type seating, as well as hundreds of chairs out uh, in front of the dance floor. It's a really nice evening when you come down here to Brownwood Square. Concession stand, and they sell some uh, adult beverages, I believe. 
Linda and I are not drinkers, so we don't keep up on that. Parking is an issue down here. When a popular group is performing, especially during the winter, you're gonna have a hard time finding a parking space here. There'll be golf carts lined all up down here. People will be sitting in their carts listening. People will be going inside to sit in the bleachers. And that's a quick trip right around the actual paddock square. The other side of the street, World of Beer. The Rustic Rose Fashion Boutique. Now, Rustic Rose has two stores. That one is uh, clothing and fashion. Looks like a vacant building there. We're gonna continue around the square. Five Guys Burgers and Fries. The Rustic Rose. I haven't been in the Tommy Bahamas. I think it's a clothing store. Ricciardi's, I hope I said that right. That's an Italian restaurant. My son and daughter-in-law got us a gift certificate to eat there, can't wait to go in. This little strip has a lot of stores on it here across the street. I see Izod, Van Heusen, Warners. This cabin is Evelyn Arthur's. It looks like ladies fashion. Another empty building. I don't know what that is. The Bluefin Bar and Grill right here uh, on the corner. That's a popular seafood restaurant. And straight ahead of us, you'll see the Barnstorm Theater. That's a modern movie theater. I think it, I don't know if it has eight or 10 theaters, maybe eight, eight theaters inside. $5 movies on Tuesday. Special pricing every day for Village's residents. This is Scoople's ice cream. We like to come here, delicious ice cream and snacks. And we're back to City Fire, so that is the actual square itself. Now let's branch off to a couple of the sides. That's Babette's Furniture. We bought our uh, dinette table from Babette's. They've got some uh, beautiful things. I know they furnish a lot of the home show houses here on the Street of Dreams. And it butts right up to the blue fin that we mentioned earlier. We're gonna turn around and go back down the other side of the street and uh, show you the stores that we've missed. I'm gonna whoop a U-turn right here. This building's vacant. And then we're gonna come up to the Wolfgang Bakery and Grooming. This is an amazing store. We've been in here several times with Gizmo. He approves 100%. He gave it a, a four paws up rating. And if you're ever in town, even if you don't have a pet, go in there and you'll be amazed at the treats that are available for our four-legged friends or three-legged if they've had an accident. Christine's, that's a gift shop. Well, I see women's clothing and accessories. I've never been in there. And Gator's Dockside. This is where you want to come on game day. On game day, uh, they'll have TVs tuned to all the major teams, college and pro. A lot of Alabama fans gather here, Notre Dame fans, Georgia fans. I even know a Kansas City Chief fan club that gathers there. And there's a vacant lot. We don't know what's gonna go in there yet. We're gonna get the left side of Torch Lake. This is the Village's Sales Information Center. And that is a beautiful building. If you're in the area, I suggest you go in and look at the furnishings and the decor in there. Just beautiful. 
that's where you go to to uh, to buy and deal with your realtor and your uh, or the village's uh, salesperson. It's a large building. We're going to continue down here Raymond James. I believe that's a financial institution of some sort. We don't have any money anymore, so we don't we don't know about those places. It must be doing well. That's a big building. Health Insurance Resource Center. Citizens First Wealth Advisors and Citizens First Bank Mortgage Department. We're coming right up to actually Citizens Bank. I don't know how many uh, outlets they have here in the villages, but I'm betting it's a dozen or more. And that's where we bank here in the villages. Now, those of you that watched our little episode the other day, saw me gassing up. This is the village's filling station coming up on our left. And that's where we got gas. And here's the golf car service center for the village's golf cars. That's a big operation right there. And they have some beautiful golf carts for sale. New ones and uh, some premium pre-owned cars. You can see back there the back of the uh, movie theater that we mentioned earlier. And we're back, and I think I've shown you the buildings on this side before, so we'll cut down to another, a different street. We're going down one of the side streets now that leads right into the new uh, loft apartments. Looks like, like I said earlier, there are some stores that are not yet occupied. These will house future businesses to make life easier for all us residents of the villages. Right here you'll see some of the loft still under construction. The lofts at Brownwood. And I don't know, I guess there's more of them coming in right here, right in front of us, because I can see some some footers have been poured and uh, first layer of block. So more and more and more. Some village residents that we've talked to are hoping that the amenities can keep up with the population as it grows. I don't know how many of these apartments there are, but each one will have a uh, you know, a couple of people that want to golf and want to play pool and want to swim in the pools and play shuffleboard and uh, take advantage of all these wonderful amenities we have here. This is the MVP Athletic Club. It's a really state-of-the-art fitness center. Unfortunately, that is not included with our amenities here in the villages. That would be an extra fee. I do know that there are some Medicare plans that include it. Linda and I are not there yet. But that was a disappointment. We thought they would have indoor gyms with weights and treadmills and uh, bicycles to ride and nope, they didn't. They actually have a couple, but they require a, a membership. Cal's Beauty Salon, another financial institution here. Cal's Barbershop. A nail salon, a dermatologist, village cycle shop, bicycles. And a hearing clinic. I'd imagine they do pretty good business here in the villages. We're on uh, Shady Nook Run. There's McAllister's Deli. Shoe Biz. 
There's no business like shoe business. The Spice Tea Exchange. Sign is a little bit hard to read on that. And we're back to Five Guys Burgers and Fries, which is right on the corner of the square. I'm out here at the entrance to Megason Drive. This is one of the main village's entrance off Highway 44. You can see 44 right here and that new village's bridge right down there. But you can't miss this entrance because of these amazing animal statues. You can see the cows and the cowboys leading you right into Brownwood. Really awesome. There comes a truck with uh, golf carts on it. These are people's carts. They probably are going to be worked on, being transported to the shop. But that's the entrance to Brownwood. Let's take a closer look at these statues. I'm gonna go across a faux cattle gate. If you live on a farm, you've seen those before maybe. Look at these statues, these are incredible. And this cowboy, he's got a calf in his arms. That is realistic. And right here, if we look through this little gap in the trees, a very scenic gap, I have to say, you can see a golf cart bridge. It's been constructed for uh, getting to and from the new areas that are opening up down south. Really pretty. Right up here is Cody's Roadhouse. That really nice uh, old truck sitting out front it's a popular place for folks to come and get all kinds of great food i know they have uh, steak hamburgers seafood right here on megason and another building under construction not sure what that's going to be You know, I know we did this on our last blog, but I'm driving my cart today and I'm going to need to pull in here and uh, get gas. You can see a little better today how I pull in. Golf car only. Linda's man in that camera, just to clear this up for anybody that's wondering. I'm not taking any responsibility for the camera. They see me in the mirror. <laughs> that's going to wrap up our uh, trip around Brownwood. I hope we sh were able to show you everything. We tried to. We may have forgotten something or missed something or whatever, but uh, I'm just happy we made it all the way around there. We didn't get hurt. No animals were injured in the filming of this video, right? And uh, we love it down here. We, we think this is a great town center, uh, town square. Sumter Landing is awesome as well. We're going to do a show on that one coming up real soon, and uh, we'll show you all the stores and amenities available up there. I hope we do anyway. Yes, and, and maybe we'll go up to... Spanish Springs. Spanish Springs has some really neat fountains up there. 
I guess they're springs. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. So we'll show you that. But anyway. Until next time. Thanks for watching. See you when you get here.